day, class. How are you today? Is everyone doing fine? That's good, because before we start our new lesson, we will have a short review of what we discussed last time. So as we all know, we are surrounded by matter because everything that surrounds us that takes space and has mass is considered matter. Now, who can tell me what the different states of matter are? Okay, yes, Ben? Good. We have the solids, the liquids, and the gases. So the solids have both definite shape and volume, and the liquids have volume but indefinite shape. And what do gases have? Correct. Gases have both indefinite shape and volume. Okay, it's good that you studied our lesson very well because it is very relevant to our new topic. Okay, before we start, so who can tell me what I have here in my hand? Yes, Lina? Yes, it is a rock. Now, what can we see about this rock? When we look at this rock, how can you describe it? Yes, it has a dark color. Now, when we touch this rock, what do we feel? Yes, magaras. So when we say magaras, the, the rock is very rough. Okay, good. And when we press this rock, what do we feel? Yes, matig ah. The rock is hard. So this rock has a dark color, it is rough, and it is very hard. Now the words you use to describe this rock is called characteristics. Now since we used our senses, our sense of sight, our sense of smell, our sense of taste, our sense of touch, and our sense of hearing, we call those characteristics observable characteristics. What do we call them? Okay, observable characteristics. Now, can you tell me what state this object is in? Good. This rock is considered a solid. Our challenge for today is to identify the observable characteristics of solid and to classify these solids based on their observable characteristics by filling out a chart and to realize that matter is important in our day-to-day -day activities. So what are the observable characteristics of solids? We will answer this question as we go along our lesson today. So are you ready? Okay, to start our lesson, I want you to go with your groups. And your group mates will be the people on your column. So this will be group 1, group 2, group 3, and group 4. Now, before we start, may I ask the leaders to please take your materials for me? Okay, here you go. Now, please be reminded that your workspace must be clean. And you have to be responsible of the things you do. So, halongit kita. And now I will read the instructions. So using your senses, I want you to observe these solids. And with your groups, I want you to write down your observations on the worksheet that I have given to you. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, you may now start. Okay, are we all done? Now what are the characteristics that you have observed? Yes. Solids can have different shapes, textures, and colors. Now that's a start. Can you find your science buddies within your group? Good. Now with your science buddies, I want you to use the group output as your basis. So discuss with your pair at least two observable characteristics and make a concept map. Now under these observable characteristics, list the solids that fit these characteristics. So is that clear? Okay, use this as your example. Finish with your concept maps? Okay, that's good. Now, what are the observable characteristics that you have listed down? Yes, Lina. Okay, that's a good answer. Other observations, please? Okay, those are really good observations. Now, solids can have different shapes, color, texture, hardness, luster, taste and smell. Now when we talk about shapes, so we have our basic shapes and an object can also be irregularly shaped. When we talk about color, we have of course different colors. So it can be pink, green, red, whatever you want or whatever you observe. When we talk about texture, 
it refers to how an object feels. So when you touch it, it can either feel smooth or it can feel rough. Now when we talk about hardness, it refers to how hard it is to bend or change the shape of an object. So an object can be hard or it can be soft. Then we have the luster. Now when we talk about luster, it refers to the ability of an object to reflect light. Pwede siya maging maingat, so it can be dull or shiny. Then we also have the taste of an object. So an object can taste sour, it can taste bitter, it can taste sweet. And we have the smell. So an object can have a bad or good smell. Okay, is that clear? Okay, good job everybody. So how was your concept mapping? Okay, so I want you to pass your outputs to the front and now we will watch a video so that you can understand our lesson more. Characteristics of solid, liquid, and gas. Solid, liquid, and gas are all made of matter. Okay, so what are the observable characteristics of solids? Okay, we have the shapes, color, texture, hardness, luster, smell, and taste. Okay, that's a good job. So now that you have watched the video and I have explained the different characteristics of solid, I trust that you can now identify these characteristics. So you see these objects are found all around us. And if we use different characteristics, we can get different groupings. So we will now have another activity. So using these pictures, I want you to choose at least two observable characteristics and list the objects according to the characteristics that you chose. So is that understood? Okay, you may now start. So are you all done? Okay, how was the activity? Was it easy? Was it hard? So how did you groom those objects? So who can give an observable characteristic that they used? Okay, those objects can be grouped using the shape, the color, the texture, and the hardness. Okay, I believe that you all did a good job. And now, are you ready for a new challenge? So for our challenge for today, I want you to take a piece of paper and divide it into four columns. So we have here our table. And for our instructions, please listen. So you have to fill out the characteristics of the following solids. So for example, for the apple, you have to identify its shape, its texture, color, hardness, and taste. So for example, if the taste is not applicable, you may simply cross it out. Are you ready? Okay, you may now start. So is everyone done? So please pass your papers to the front. I believe everyone did a good job today and we have identified the different observable characteristics of solids. So I think that's it for today. So good job little scientists. Have a good day and thank you.